readers and listeners. Today we're reading Willow the Armadillo, words by Mary Lou Reader, pictures by Dave Montram. Willow the Armadillo. Ever since she was a tiny armadillo, Willow loved picture books. She borrowed as many from the library as her arms could carry. One day, I'll be in a picture book of my own, she'd whisper, poring over the pages. Being in the background wasn't an option, no. She wanted to be the one to save the day, the character everyone looked up to. Willow wanted to be the hero. Her parents tried to tell her it was a long shot. You have a tough shell, sweetie, but heroes are strong and brave. A hero? You have quite the imagination. Still, Willow's dream persisted. She signed up to take classes at Picture Book Legend Academy under the legendary Madame Tigress. The other students doubted her, but that didn't stop Willow. She studied hard, learned to identify animals in distress. Excellent! And practiced living, he lifting heavy objects. That's it! Each night, Willow repeated what Madame Tigress told her, Show them your heroic heart, and you will surely get the part. After graduation, Willow was ready. She put on her bravest face and tried out to be a bedtime hero. Not what we're looking for. Next! Willow knew she needed to keep trying. At her next audition, she flexed her muscles and went for it. Um, I don't think so. Next! It crossed her mind that maybe she needed to change her image. She became a Rama Dynamo, but it didn't help. Not the right fit. Sorry. Negative. Willow tried to stay positive, but with each rejection, her dream sounded more and more distant. One day, she saw a sign. You could be the next picture book hero. That would be her big break. Sorry, but we've already found someone for the job. Willow felt so low, she curled into a ball and stayed that way for hours. Then she rolled to the library. Being surrounded by books usually made her feel better, but all she could see were her classmates on their covers. What's the point, Willow sniffled. I'll never be a hero. Just then the library went dark. It was chaos. Crash. Help. Mommy. Wah. I can't see. Willow sprang into action. Willow took the tiny book light she carried in her pocket and hailed it up. Walk carefully toward me, she called. She asked everyone to sit down. She dried tears, and she read them their her favorite stories until the lights came on. Willow, you saved the day, said Miss Dottie, the librarian. Everyone cheered. The next day, Willow visited the library and found a surprise waiting for her. They made her a book of her own. I love it. Thank you, she said. She looked at all the smiling faces and her heart felt big. Someday she might go to another edition, but for now, nothing could top being a hero in real life. Who wants to read a story? The end.